Hello, my name is John. I'm here with my son Noah. We started fossil collecting this year. We've been digging at Brownville, which is just north of Arcadia at the Brownville Park in the gravel beds in the river when the water is shallow. We just started. We have our fossil permits. We even uh, went on a fossil guided tour with Mark Renz from Fossil Expeditions. Uh, we really enjoyed that. We'd encourage you to do that. But we want to show you our little fossil collection. We have brought home a lot more material than this, but we've just selected these as our favorites. So I'm going to ask my son Noah if he'd start with our shark's teeth. Hello, and I will show you our shark's teeth here. Um, this is one of our first favorites, and um, this is two and a half inches. Um, it's not as big as the usual ones. Um, there are some out there that's bigger than these, way bigger. And um, as you can see, we have other shark's teeth around here. Um, as you can see, this one's whole, a lot of them are like half ones, like this one right there. And um, we'll move down here. Okay, what we have here, just some, uh, right up here at the top left-hand corner is a stingray dermal plate. You can see Noah's going to hold that up, and it has kind of a distinctive little design on the top. That's a pretty cool piece. And, there's a lot of different dermal plates with different patterns. Below that are some ray pavement teeth. And I believe this is some type of fish tooth. And it was kind of holding that up. You can kind of get a look at that. That's, I think it's some type of fish tooth that I was told. Um, we have a whale inner ear bone that we have. He's going to show that to you. All right. And below that, we don't need to look at the next item. But below that, we think it's a, a scale from a tarpon. We're just not real sure. And then all these other pieces, I'm just going to zoom in on a few. These are turtle shell fragments, and they're real pretty. They have real pretty patterns, as you can see. And we like to kind of collect them because we just think they're kind of cool. And there comes to some point, you just don't keep all of them because you have so many of them. But down in the corner, Noah, do you remember what those two pieces are in the corner? They are turtle spurs. Yeah, we found those. Those are kind of cool. And then over here, just some more turtle fragments that we collect. And then up here, Noah, do you remember what those are? Those three. This is an armadillo. Mm-hmm. Piece from our armadillo. And then these two have a very distinctive geometric pattern, as you can see. These are glyptodont scoots, which is an extinct animal similar to an armadillo. It was really, really big. And we found a couple of those, so those are kind of neat. And I'll have Noah work his way to the front of the table, and he's going to show us what's up here at the top. This is a deer antler. This is one of our first ones, so we're really excited about that. And this is what we think is a, another part of a deer antler mm -hmm. right here. And um, moving on to the um, horse teeth. And um, first we're going to check out these tusks. These all three are little tusks um, from mastodons. I'll show those to you. Yeah, they're actually tusk fragments, pieces mm -hmm. of ivory. And this is a mastodon tooth fragment. It's a tooth cusp. We actually uh, took a picture and sent it to the Museum of Natural History. They said that's what it was. And the little piece to the left of it is another tooth cusp. And we think the yep. rest of the pieces on there are either mastodon or mammoth tooth fragments. And then Noah, would you explain this last big section that we have? Okay, that one item there, sure. This is a sloth tooth, mm -hmm. at least what's left of it, because um, one day we were like within, then we shattered it on the ground, but it had more than it looks like, but there it is. And um, we're going to move on to the horse teeth. This is one of our biggest, right here. And as you can see, it has this pattern, this pattern like um, ridges. And as you can see, a lot of them have, like, different colors. And I think that's the filling, don't you think? The different patterns, but there's something else we want to show you, too. And I think if we can see it on this piece, there's like this, I would just call it maybe some type of squiggly mm -hmm. pattern on the top. And they all seem to have that type of pattern. So there's a lot of horse and teeth there. these are all teeth that we think of are from, we don't know what they're from. Yeah, these are different pieces of tooth. I'm pretty sure they're tooth material, but really just don't know what they're from. So it's, uh, we just have to do a little bit more work and take a look at those with some fossil books and get online and see if we can identify them. But 
basically our small collection here we've got 12 or 13 different animals represented here but we're kind of excited we're going to keep digging this is 2012 toward the end of the year and we're looking to the new year of a whole year of making a new collection and we're going to keep making videos we're going to probably our next video we'll try to get down to the river and actually show you where we dig and maybe show you when we actually make some finds so stay tuned and Noah is there anything you want to say when as we close um thanks for watching and um if there's some stuff that you have questions about in here just um put them in the description bar below and um we will answer your questions hopefully Bye, thanks for watching.